been, I think it was two minutes at one point, a really hot girl in a really high-end nightclub. Um, he shows you how you can get anyone on a VIP table, any girl from a VIP table, take them off, bring them back to your house and not even spend a penny on them. Okay, this guy it gets results. He's not a fake, he doesn't pretend. You go out with him, you go Sarge with him, you go book him for time, you, come, you can have him for the boot camp or the residential, you'll see this guy in action and he'll be with you well over your time. He'll be with you till like five in the morning until you get results. You're not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere until you're getting laid that night. That's how determined he is. And he, he, I, it's, it's so wonderful to have this guy on my team. He's brilliant and I really hope you enjoy his talk now. Take it up for Ali. Okay guys, welcome back again. How are we all feeling? Yeah. Ah, this is not good enough. How are we all feeling? Yeah. This is not good enough. How are you all feeling? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Just a quick question. How many of you here have been to a boot camp or a seminar before? Please put your hand up. Jeez. Cool. There are lots of virgins here. I like that. It's cool. How many of you have said hi to someone that you don't know in this event? Put your hand up. Now this is bad. <laughs> what I want you to do is pick someone that you don't know and say hi and exchange names. Go. Okay guys. Back to me. Back to me. Um, I love this because uh, most of people got such events where they need to improve their social skills, you know, they become more successful with people, and they go to events a bit like, you know, they're surrounded by lots of likely-minded people, and they don't even introduce themselves. How awesome is that, right? Kind of weird, right? So, what I want to become from this day onward is to become more social, so wherever you go, say hi to someone. It keeps you warm. So when you see someone that you really want to talk to, you're warm up. You're warmed up, you can easily have a normal conversation, a good conversation. It's, it's very important. Guys, my name is Ali, and uh, some people call me Sexy One. So you can call me Sexy, <laughs> the one, <coughs> Ali. You know, however you, know, um, you, know, however you fancy it. Baby darling. Baby darling, it could work, it could work. You know, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. <laughs> and I learned and worked with community's biggest names. Um, that's the reason I'm good. And I'm currently working for Kezia as her head trainer. So I have a, you know, um, extensive training experience as well as teaching. I'm known for my rapid escalation skills, uh, both verbally and physically. Because I'm a lazy guy, I like to do, do things without, like, with the minimum fuss, you know, couple, like, couple, in a couple of minutes, if possible, under a minute. <coughs> I'm known to kiss girls about in 30 seconds. There are a couple of people here who have witnessed me doing it. And then people have seen me kissing a girl's boobs after saying hi to her and stuff like that. And then I'm kind of a guy you would say, you know, you can get away with murder. Like, I've done this over and over again. You can talk to our boot camp students, uh, or, you, know, you know, people who come to our boot camps. And Kezi asked me to share these, like, techniques. And she said, you can do this over and over again. It means there must be a system. There must be something like, uh, anyone can learn and repeat. And I was like, yeah. So I started like um, breaking it down to like, you know, like minimum chunks, um, like really, really simple stuff so you can take away with you. So today, I'm going to talk about escalation. What, what is it? And I'm going to give you some of the most powerful techniques that I came up with, and also emulated from uh, other great guys. I'm going to try to keep things as simple as possible, right? But still, if you have any questions, anything you're not clear about, please feel free to ask questions. Because I'm going to leave about five minutes at the end, or you can catch me during a break and then fire at will. All right? Cool. And if you want to take notes, please do so. Because I personally find it very helpful to take notes. Because like, you can internalize learning. Because sometimes you think you can memorize, but you really can't. Ah, uh, so it's a late comma. You, come on. Let's just joking, Carl. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a big question. So what is escalation? Anyone can give me a description? So what is escalation? You my man? 
ability to move and interact. Speak up a bit. <laughs> Come on, speak up a bit. Yeah, so this is awesome. Cool. Um, um, it's, is it the ability to move and interact from forward quickly from one stage to another? Yeah, it doesn't have to be quickly. Yeah, yeah. that's all right. Anyone else? I, I saw another hand up here. You? Meeting her places in the bedroom. Yeah, could be that. Could be that. Cool. Any, anything else? Go on. Increasing the sexual tension. Yes, could that. Guys, these are all valid and awesome descriptions. Someone said you're taking the interaction forward, you know, taking it to your desired goal, and, and moving the interaction forward again, and you know, creating sexual tension. They're all correct. So my description is a, a bit simpler. I say <clears throat> escalation is an event getting more intense step by step. Every interaction, see this reason I hate microphones, every interaction has a beginning, right? But namely opening an approach and an end, a close. Namely, it could be number close, it could be kiss close, it could be full close, right? So this means escalation is taking the interaction from start up to your desired goal. For that, you need to know where you want to take the interaction to, as well as driving it forward. Are we all clear so far? Yeah. Right? Rapid verbal escalation, which we are going to talk about today, and I'm going to concentrate on uh, sexualizing quickly, is creating an intense conversation, right, where you make such an impact in a short period of time. Meaning, the mental and emotional <laughs> time travel between the beginning to end is going to feel way longer than it actually is. In some of the cases, I kiss a girl in a minute, she feels as if we have been talking for about 10 minutes. Sometimes I go on a date for half an hour, it feels as if we have been on a date for you know, multiple hours. Right? You create that intense experience with them. You make such an impact. Rapid verbal escalation can be used in a uh, in number of ways, non-sexual and sexual. So as I said, you need to know where you want to take the interaction. It's very important because you are leaving it. You are the man. So you need to do this. Do you want to make friends? Do you want to expand your network? Do you want to know the key people in the places that you visit regularly? Or you want to take the interaction to cause the waters of sexuality, right? The both are equally important. I don't know if um, any of you have heard uh, anything about social circle game, right? Social circle game is about using non-sexual escalation to create a huge group of people around you, right? They're awesome, they open doors for you, and some of whom then you can sexually escalate. That's how it works. So uh, verbal escalation can be used in a number of ways, whatever you prefer. Like, if you only hear, like my friend over there, to improve your social skills, you know, make more impact, get the jobs you want, you can use this. Because I'm a fundraiser as well. I use these skills to get thousands of thousands of pounds from rich guys. And, you know, in a network meeting, I like, uh, you know, I'm among about 100 other, other network, uh, other like fundraisers, most of rich guys. I go and bang, bang, make impact and leave in half an hour and uh, all I hit all my targets because I hate network events. Sorry, yeah. All right, so I'm going to give you a bit of theory, right, a mental state which explains why I do what I do. Then later on, so you can repeat this stuff, right, and you can come up with your own techniques. It's a good way, right, because I think it's the right way because I just, I want to I wanna teach you how to fish instead of just giving you the fish, like routines and stuff. All right, let's go to that. My game has three important pillars. One of them is called power of assumption. Other one is pattern breaking. And third one is humor. Pattern breaking, sorry, uh, power of assumption and humor are more like mental states, you know, your inner game. Pattern breaking is a practical application of these mental states. So what is power of assumption? Power of assumption is projecting feelings and experiences of a possible future event as if it already happened. Kind of confusing, right? 
Let me give you an example. You see a set that you want to go and approach, <laughs> she's hot. You turn to your being, even before you approach, say, so which one of us is going to cause that girl? As if, you know, in the conversation, it's a done deal. So you're just choosing which one of you is going to cause the deal. Right? So that mental state. So you're walking towards her. You start talking to her as if you've already been on a date. You're talking to her as if number clause already sealed. Just having, you know, have fun in the interaction. You assume rapport. You assume comfort. And when you get to a certain level, you assume even sex. It's just the nature of things is inevitable. It's just like, it's just going to happen. I want you to think um, of a day, I'm sure all of you had this, if you're really, really tired, right? Just like yawning and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, you realize people around you start yawning too. And on the other hand, let's say you're feeling really, really happy, and you're smiling, you're laughing in Wahidi, all of a sudden you're going to realize the mood of the room is going to change. It's going to go up a bit. Because we are wired to mirror the energy of the room, mirror the other person. We do it subconsciously. So when you feel it's your right, to get that girl's number. It's your right to kiss that girl. It's just normal to kiss that girl, take her home. She's gonna buy into it. You know what she's gonna tell her friends after like she slept with you? She's gonna say, I don't know what happened. Like, you know, we're just talking. Next thing I know, my brow was off. What the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, she's gonna say, it felt just it's normal. Like one thing led to another. Because you feel this is normal. Imagine you're talking to a girl and you, you know that like sex is just, it's gonna happen tonight. And you're talking to her as if, yeah, that's the case. So your feelings, your, your, the way you act, the way you talk, is going to change, it's going to mirror that. It's the belief set. Power of assumption also means you make bold and sometimes outlandish claims about her personality, about what she does, about her hobbies, about her, French, uh, about her friends and what have you. So instead of being boring and predictable, instead of asking like interview questions, you look at her, you make like such a statement that's gonna kind of bother or shock her. Or you make a, a question that's gonna cut bullshit. Let's say she's an amazing buddy, she's walking down the road. You look at her. If it was me, I would say, wow, she's an amazing buddy, she must be a dancer. I went up to her, I say, how long have you been dancing? Sounds a bit, you know, incongruent, right? You know what it does? Instead of asking, what do you do? What do you enjoy doing? What would you do? I cut all the crap and I said, so how long have you been dancing? Or how long have you been doing yoga? Right? Or what kind of positions do you enjoy most? Hey. <laughs> and I don't, you know, I know this sounds really, this sounds really, really like outlandish to you, but I do that. Like people see me doing this in the field I, again and again and again, because I think it's just normal. To, to, you know, if you don't like that position, then I like it's just it's a waste of time. You know, come on. They're like, okay, cool. You know, I like this. I like that. So, let me give you an example, another one. You're talking to a hot girl, and he said, so what's your name? And she told you, you, know, she told you uh, her name, and she asked your name. And she was saying, my name is Ali, I just sometimes say, I'm sexy one. They're like, what? I say, my sexy one, you can call me sexy, you can call me the one, I can be your one, baby. See what I mean? Just break the comfort, like I'm sexualized conversation from the beginning, from the opener, boom. All right, other mental state is, Humor, as I said. Uh, as I tell you, like this is just not a like boring thing that you need to do as part of your life. It's something that you need to take. It's supposed to be fun. I have fun with this, you know. If you have fun, the other person is going to have fun. 